yo uh, what is up I'm back I'm gonna be streaming Marvel contest of champions again hopefully more regularly and we'll see if anybody shows up it's been so long oh, maybe I should do the Twitter thing stream tweet I think that works okay yeah all right I'll see if anybody shows up. This is not my new usual time either. <clears throat> so I'm just going to be like hanging out here by myself for probably a little while. And we'll see if anybody, um, if anybody pops in. But yeah, I had to take a break. All right. I've not even started this crap yet. Let us go. Gonna get started. We are gonna go, go, go. Ho ho. I imagine I'm not getting pushed out by anything because it's been a month since I did anything. But hopefully it'll be fine. Do, 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 do. All right. All right, here we go. We are going to get started on this. this I, actually, I think this is the first time I'm playing with you. Since I pulled him a few days ago. Ooh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. We will see if we get people. Because... I'm gonna try stream for a couple of hours today, but don't know how it's gonna go. Whoop! Good! Almost died. Oh. Hey, what's up, Scarco? How's it going, sir? I wasn't sure if you'd be in here because I, I did. I was like, "What time is it in Australia right now?" I have no concept of, of, of time. I had. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try streaming a little earlier so that I can the late night stuff. Uh, my clock has sort of changed over the last month, and I've just become exhausted in the evenings. So I'm trying out this time slot. I'm gonna see how it goes. Good to see you, man. Glad somebody's here. I am well. I am doing well. A lot better than I was uh, 10 a.m. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. I just got uh, I got a little sick. Got a little sick. Oh, Saturday morning. Okay, great. Yeah. So you're not you're not teaching or anything right now. There's no like you're <laughs> like you're not on Zoom with them in the in the background. Like yeah, yeah, do your thing playing the game um got a saturday morning lord <laughs> i like i understand the planet is round but it's always a little bit of a like a whoa <laughs> um yeah well good to have you back in the chat um but yeah, I am doing well. I I had a, a kind of a crappy month, um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it it's it's gotten better, and um, hopefully it continues to continues to get better. <laughs> what did you do that for? I I don't know. I'm just a I'm just stupid. That's all. Okay, getting in to the groove of this again. I'm glad that I've remembered to do my, like my sound was on when I started the stream. That's great. It's a, it's a giant step forward for how I've started streams before. Got Scarco here, which is amazing. How's, uh, how's Miss Jane doing? We are, um, we are well on our way 
closing things back up here in America because um, a bunch of people are idiots. They don't want to get the vaccine. Uh, so Delta's going wild up here. It's pretty exciting for fall. Just when we thought we were going to be opening things back up. I don't know, man. Oh, I uh, we started posting all the stuff for um, the Hollywood Fringe Festival today. Um, so uh, you, could, you should be able to find it under the Hollywood Fr Fringe Festival under the, uh, what's it called? The Hunger Artist. <laughs> what did I produce? The Hunger Artist. I'll post the link to it uh, at some point if you want. Oh, boy. Thank you. I'm going to watch season two of Ted Lasso. Thank you very much for reminding me, phone. Miss Jane sends her love. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Send her love right back. I got a six-star cable from the arena, then pulled six-star Cyclops Red. My roster is a little skewed now. <laughs> yeah, I just pulled uh, a six-star Nova today. What's up, Glory? Spoiler alert on my last video. James! Sup, Leo? Just got through the... Uh, whoops. Uh, there was something that he retracted and I couldn't see it. I saw the sup, Leo, though. I'm glad that, um... That meme is still around. <laughs> you remembered! Uh... I am glad to be back. Glad to be feeling better. Glad to see y'all in the chat. Yeah, you, uh, you've got um, a couple of family members there, father and son. All we need now in the game is um, Corsair. And we get the whole family in there. Just got through 6.2 champion, and I am now hating myself. Well, you know, also sub Leo, yeah. <laughs> um, well, congratulations on getting through 6.2 champion. Who'd you use? And why are you hating yourself? That's, uh, I mean, once you get through it, like, hate hate the game at least, you know? Don't hate yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. It was them. It was the devs. Oh, that fight is uh, a bit easier than it used to be. A bit easier than it used to be. Um... Before they took out uh, a few of those super difficult nodes, I decided to do um, do it all in one day because I was like, once I get the hang of the fight, I'm not gonna want to go back and like do it again without getting the hang. Because by the by the like the last time I did it, I, I almost soloed it the first time. The that didn't make sense. I almost soloed it the last time I I went through with the champ that I, I was using. Sorcerer Supreme. Very, very nearly soloed it. And I wanted to kind of go back in again just to see if I could, but I have not. And now I've sort of forgotten all the mechanics. But I digress. I digress. I'm going to do the same thing with the Grand Master fight when I eventually... Because <laughs> I, well, I was going to. I have I have finished it, but I um, I was like tired at the end of doing that, and I was like, I guess I'm not going to do the same thing for this one. But when I go in and eventually finish Act Six, I'm going to because um, I'm I'm I've, I've got mo uh, like halfway through 6.4 right now, a little bit less than that. Um, so when I do finally go and beat him. Uh, and complete it. I'm just gonna do it all at the same time so I can just have it. That's actually a really fun fight though I sat looking at that champion boss for a full year before I got up the nerve to go in yeah And yeah, me too, man. I was just like oh. I even like I had like saved up resources and then like resources expired and I was like man, I just gotta go in there at some point did the same thing with the um, the collector or the grandmaster. Which one is the one of the? Yeah, grandmaster. 
Um, and then when I got in there, I was like, ugh, this is painful. And then once I got the hang of the fight, I was like, oh, this is actually kind of a fun fight. Um, and then I just didn't do it again because I ran out of resources. I was like, well, I don't have any more revive, so I can't. I don't want to spend all the units and spend money if I have to do it. But I wanted to do that with Grandmaster, but I had to stop after one run. That was enough. <laughs> it was the same thing with me, Glory. I was like, I'm going to get all this done. As soon as I was done, I was like, yeah, that was enough. That was enough for the day. <laughs> phases not fights I always have uh, so many units but that in the Grand Master fight actually requires skills yeah because you could waste a lot going through that I haven't even taken a look at the what the Gwen Master fight yet I didn't even touch that seven I was like ah, I'll get to it eventually now it's almost it's like seven I have the 7.3 beta that I haven't even looked at do that eventually but yeah at some point i'll step into act seven it's in 2022 <laughs> i just can't be bothered i guess i don't know <laughs> i always have so many units but that the grandma yeah yeah, yeah. I, read, I read that um yeah i was i very nearly spent my three thousand units on that crystal yesterday but then i saw somebody i was gonna go for the skill mutant one and take my chances possibly getting egg on but i just know i was gonna get like a freaking moon knight or a night crawler or something it's gonna be annoying so i decided to save them save them to bust through some more content uh, I'm not in any rush because I'm already like throne breaker uh, So it doesn't feel like I need to complete anything super fast But I do want to get it done I would have had more units until I get better internet without grinding is not happening. Oh, yeah And man the the bugs this month the parry thing oh, ugh. The first night, like I have tried download it, and I was like, I was, I raged at my phone. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? I know I'm not this bad. And then it was like, it, I checked blind chat, and they were like, yeah, man, it's some kind of something's going on. It's like, oh, thank God, it's not just me. I just suddenly suck. I mean, I, I still suck, but not as bad as the game was making it out. The parries, and the, the dashbacks, ugh. I was doing the Summer of Pain, too, because so I had saved it. Like, I was like a moron. I I had saved it until the night before, like the Wednesday, that was going to drop. And I was like, oh, I better get this done. And then I downloaded the update, and then I went into there, and I was like, oh, no. So I ended up spending quite a few uh, resources <laughs> just getting that particular. It was the... Um, I want to say it was the... Venom one? So that was annoying. Maybe it wasn't the Venom. I think it was the Venom. The Venom. No. Because I got that done. Whichever one it was, it was annoying. Just from watching it, the Gwen Master fight is different every time because of the nodes. I didn't really see anyone get the fight down because each run was something new. Okay. Yeah, I watched BG do it and I was like, I yeah. I haven't seen too much of it though. I think I was like half asleep while he when he finally got to it have you touched 7.1 it's a breeze compared to x6 no i haven't uh i really should i guess uh, th i have actually heard this like there's a lot of um like fun nodes that like give you stuff um i should just jump in there at some point maybe we'll do a stream uh, next week stop when i finish x6 yeah Scarco, I just kind of, I kind of looked at it and I was like, man, I don't know if I want to do that right now. <laughs> I had pushed through 6.3 and 6.4 in a couple of weeks, so I needed a break. But yeah, yeah, I felt the same way. Lots of people said it, but when I played it myself is when I realized. Go check it out. Okay. We'll do. We'll do some 7.1 streams. That'll be fun. You can all laugh at my my derpage so there will be derpage 
you'd have seen some of the derpage on these when I was just sitting here in my bed doing some of these summer of pain. It was it was a pain for me. <laughs> well, I was watching like Karate Mike solo these things. I was like, oh man, look at that! I'll tell you, I have that champ. I'll solo. No. When I tell you no, I'm. Uh, Karate Mike, you made it look so easy. No. But we got through it. We got some of the points. We got the points. I think I missed out on, like, maybe two of the points the first week. I, I, don't, I don't remember. I, I think when I was sick, I couldn't. I just wasn't having. I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing any of this. So I beat, I beat it, but I, I don't know if I did the extras. I don't know how much that's gonna matter as far as rewards go. Um, not sure how many points. Let's just look, I guess. Like, do you, like in order to get all the top rewards uh, for Thronebreaker, do you need to do get like all the points? I have done all of the challenges. I actually don't know that. I still want to clear my last three paths of Variant 1. It's weighing on me. I know I still haven't finished Variant 1. I don't know if I ever will. It's, it's just such a flippin' pain. I mean, I think I have... I mean, my roster is so much more developed than it was back then, so... I mean, it'd probably be fine, but... My lord. Oh, I picked... This is the wrong champ to fight her. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I'll ever explore X6. I only explored four and five because there was nothing else to do. Oh, I'm definitely gonna, I want those rewards. My OCD won't allow that, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, eventually, I just pulled Strife, and so I was like, well, I don't have the Aegon, so maybe I'll just go in and finish the, um, plus I wanna get those Karina challenges done, so I'm gonna figure out what paths to do, because I haven't finished, I haven't even finished Labyrinth. So I did one path, and I was like, that's fine. That's enough. I didn't even do Labyrinth until it wasn't even really worth it anymore. There were no objectives early? Okay. Should be on 15. Let's see what I'm on. Let's see. This is, this is not where you check that. Derpage is already done. Okay. Uh, 15. Okay. Cool. Then I'm there. What did I get here? What did I get? What is this? Tier 2 class. Oh, cool. Great. Yeah, I'll take Cosmic. Make it Tier 2 Catalyst. Is that. Did it do both of them? Or is it going to do it right now? All right, whatever. Cool. So we are good. <laughs> I think I when I when they started putting those objectives those are uh, in, I, th I thought I had missed out on somewhere. I was like, oh, I must not have seen. That's good. Doss is good. There it is. Okay. Doss is good. Yeah. All right. There we go. I'm just doing Mystic. Tier twos. All right. Poggers. <laughs> Glistor Contest Man, welcome to the chat. I don't think I've seen you in here before. Welcome. Coming in with the Poggers. I am... I'm going to admit to you guys that I know, what Pog... I know what Pog Champ is. I've seen that in but I don't know. What, is Pogger... what does Poggers mean? What does, it... what does it mean when you say Poggers? Is that a greeting? Could I walk into a room and just go, Poggers! Is that a, ooh, what if I'm saying like a racial slur? Ooh, canceled. Oh, I was super smart. My last paths are debuff immune and starburst. Lots of fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scarco. That's going to be a ooh, starburst. Fun. Do you have um, a gulk? I've been, I've been thinking about taking up my gulk for a little while just for stuff like that, but... I only just awakened him, so we'll see. 
I know the parry bug has been annoying, but I can't remember ever getting three lots of compensation for the same issue. I know. I said, when I got that today, I was like, oh, they're not messing around. And they know it's uh, like when you mess up like two of the core mechanics in the game. Like <laughs> you, you better do something because like, oof. Some, and when you're sitting there, like, you if you want to have a bad time in Marvel Constance Champions, like, get punched in the face a bunch when you know you parried. Like, then it's like, you just, I, I'm sure they saw people kind of, like, I bet player, like, like, the time played, app open times were down or whatever. And they're just like, oh, shit, we better do something about this. This is definitely the most generous they've been. Indeed, since the 12.0 compensation, this is this is the most I've ever seen them hand out. I mean, they handed out a bunch of stuff in in, in a weird way um, for the six, like the, the Act Six compensation. Uh, like a bunch of people, like I did this, like I did just slightly different paths than a few other people, and they got wildly better compensation than I did. Um, but I was like, whatever. It's, I mean, I hadn't finished. Um, I haven't finished it off yet, so I, I just figured like it must have been super difficult paths or something. I don't know. I have six star gulk, but it still sucks. It does suck. It does indeed suck. Will Angela work on Starburst? Hmm. Is Angela a Starburst counter? Seriously, with the amount of arena I grind, I have almost totally adapted. Haven't noticed it in a long time. Interesting. Yeah, I I haven't been grinding. Or this is actually like. Honestly, my first bit of a, like I'll, I'll jump in for a little bit, but this is like my first grind uh, in a month. So like I just like I turned the phone on and the light would hurt my brain. <laughs> um, this is not fun, but. Uh, Like, I haven't noticed it too much, but, like, I was doing some Cavalier last night in the science, the, the science Cavalier paths, and I, I definitely noticed that, because it was the Bane and, uh, uh, the Bane path with, like, Gwenpool and Ultron, and they were, like, you know, they're evading, uh, which is not a big deal, like, if you like, you can you sort of see it coming. You know when they're gonna do it. They're always gonna try to screw you on that last hit, and you're doing like four hits or whatever. But like, even when I was back, like Gwen, 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 uh, Spider Gwen is what I meant. Um, she was the one that was making me like furious because you know you're supposed to take a science champ in, and there's not a lot of poison immunes that really deal well with with evade and stuff and so like i was just getting i kept getting rocked with my immortal abomination i was like okay i had a i had like a whole um a uh, full energy refill expiring and so i was like ah whatever i'll just go back through again but uh, i still was like annoyed but i was like i'm gonna get this stupid path down for just to get rid of this energy uh and not spend any other um resources on it because but I was that one in the Ultron fight in, in the Ultron at the end was just annoying annoying the crap out of me Angela yeah there's a thought yeah so hopefully maybe that'll work that word isn't a bad one I think it originated on Twitch won't be cancelled <laughs> express excitement or something yeah I know the po like po I think actually that guy like they canceled the the pog champ dude like the guy who actually is the emoji i think he released some anti-vax stuff but like i i don't know what it means when you say poggers I'm not i'm not hip i am i am unhip bro pog is a is play of game play of the game right Listen to us boomers trying to figure out the kids. Like, I know. <laughs> I'm a, I mean, we're millennials, right? Like, 
well, we're like boomer millennials. <laughs> <laughs> like the older, the oldest possible millennials, at least I am. Um, and they're all Xennials or Gen Z or whatever the hell. It's all stupid. It's all marketing crap. To me, it was a game. I know, you had Pogs, correct? Right? You had Pogs, you had Slammers. <laughs> definitely, definitely haven't sounded this freaking old in a long time. <laughs> what's, a, what's a pogger? It meant something different when I was a kid. When I was a kid, you put an onion in your shirt, which was the style at the time. Can't even remember my Grandpa Simpson quote. Ugh. I am this far from old man yells at cloud. That's for sure. You might be millennial. I certainly, I'm certainly not. Or millennial, but we're like, I'm like right on millennial Gen X cusp. Professional streamer folks, notification. Did I get a notification? I didn't even see. What was it? I'm not even gonna check. I don't even know. I have, I thought I turned off all my notifications. But apparently not. What, what notification did I get? <laughs> yeah, I was looking at chat, so I didn't even see it. I have a geriatric millennial with you. I'm going to die here, aren't I? Come on. Oh, no. Yes, I'm definitely... Come on! Oh, God. There's the Perry bug right there. Millennial isn't even born after 82. Don't seem to identify with the stereotype. I'm 78. I'm 80, so... I'm in that. Like, I'm not Gen X. I'm not old enough for that. There's like a weird... Whatever that is. Family text. Oh, great. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, my aunt just passed away uh, this week. So that's probably what it was. I usually have all my um, texts on silent. Uh, but not that one. Uh, Let me just, just check this real quick, make sure everything's cool. Oh, it's, it's just a phone bill thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be right back here, folks. Give me one second. that alert and we're good <clears throat> yeah it's been a rough year for family stuff first my grandpa got uh, passed away from covid and now now this so it's the um, the older relatives are are starting to start to pass my whole the whole thing with my grandpa is so frustrating because i mean just not believing in it going to church when he could have just waited a while. Like, he was, it was January, so he could have been vaxxed by February when one of the first people in. But the damn misinformation machine got a hold of him. Him and my uncle. The first thing my uncle said, like, sent me when I unblocked him was an anti like an hour-long anti-vax video. And I was like, okay. Reblock? It's like your dad just died from this disease that he gave that he gave you from this virus. 
you almost died from it, now you're sending me anti-vaxxa. Like, it's just insane. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how else to, to do it. I don't know how else to qualify it. Ugh, where is my ears? It's not super loud. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, not, not the most pleasant of months. Um, I didn't know her very well. Um, uh, we'd spent some time uh, together in my childhood, but I did not know her all that well. But still, it's, you know, it's talking to my mom, and um, she was just actually a, a couple years older than my mom, so it, you know, freaked my mom out <laughs> um, a little bit. But uh, my mom lives a much healthier lifestyle than, than she does, so um, I think uh, she's got a, got a lot more years in her. Anyway. So the Perry bug, right? Fucking, oof. That's rough. <laughs> um, but yeah, as far as compensation goes, uh, it's been pretty crazy. I actually ha like, I um, ha I, I like did a, some difficult content. Because I was like, I looked in my expiring items. I didn't realize I had. I just had all of these freaking uh, team revives that were about to, like four or five of them that were about to expire. I was like, oh, oh, I better, I better use these. These are like a hundred units a piece. Um, so I jumped in and did some of the, um, some of the summer of pain. And I was just like, well, there's these are gonna expire in like two hours. So I don't even if they are group revives. They're forty percent, so might as well, might as well use them before they go. How are you feeling about that um, six-star cable, Scarco? Do you have like a apocalypse to make them awesome? I keep my glory maxed out. At the end of each AQ series, I spend 4K and claim my AQ rewards. Yeah, I keep mine, like mine was 11K before I logged onto the stream and then I bought a bunch of stuff. Um, usually I get, I. A few of the T1s, sometimes like between five and seven of the T1s, and then some. Uh, I have a bunch of tier four basics, so I, uh, but sometimes I buy those. I always get the T5 CC crystal, I always get the. Um, do, 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 the, like the, a couple of the, like at least a tier one alpha every time, uh, like a full one of those. Sometimes maybe two. Uh, I always buy one of the T5 basic. And then I maybe some potions every once in a while, but I don't generally need them because I'm not doing difficult like AQ or I mean, we don't even do war anymore. So Perry is less in my case and more with missed inputs. Yeah, I, I, I missed inputs is there too. Uh, it's it's frustrating, cause like I, I I've sort of gotten used to the 12 Pro Max now with the going from the 7 Plus like having the screen extended all the way to the end and I'm not touching the sides and stuff and so I know that when I'm like when I miss an input it's like oh, you motherfucker like it's you know it's frustrating I feel. 
I feel cheated. Like, I'll, I'll be attacking into somebody and then suddenly just stop. And you're like, okay, what happened? Why did I... Or and what's been weird, the weird thing that's been happening to me on this phone is that I'll do an accidental three-hit combo. I don't know if anybody's having that happen to them. Where I'll, like suddenly do a medium out of nowhere uh instead of like a, it'll be like the third or fourth hit in the combo or i'm like I, I know i'm tapping it with my left and doing the things that i usually do uh and then it'll just like oh it's a medium and i'm like okay i don't understand how it happened like and i don't feel like i'm sliding my right thumb across the screen I, that's just not how i play the game like the sliding is all done with my left but uh I don't know. That's just one thing I've noticed since I got this phone and since the update. I don't know if anybody else in chat has had that experience. So when they send me 9,000 in glory, I'm like, um, oh, that's right. So you just have to go buy a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, what did you, because how, like, what is it? The cap is 15, right? Oof. What do you do? I haven't, I haven't used him yet. I got APOC two weeks ago, which uh, is why I grinded for the six star. Okay. Nice. Oh, this is the wrong guy to fight with this guy. Okay. Oh, whatever. Just do it regular style. Oh, he's gonna, yep. That was entirely my fault. Being dumb. Okay. Just nervous about Sunspot. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh my goodness, the T5CC crystal. I spent so long scrounging the 2% from side quests. The idea from getting 5% from the glory store, mind blowing. Yeah. The five per, uh, is it five? I thought it was two percent from the. Is it five percent? Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's five. I I'm so close, so freaking close to getting my torch to rank three. Look at this crap. Every like like I've pulled so like I I got so many of those. I've gotten the the two percenters and the five percenters out of all the the. The things I, I'm actually probably gonna switch over, uh, doing the the monthly side quests just to try to get. Cause I look how look how many cosmics I've gotten already, and I've I already have a cosmic at rank three. Already have, you know, more mutant like, but I just keep this this science it just won't fill up. But I, the game really loves giving me cosmics man really loves giving me cosmics let's see how we doing then? thank you uh, it's the weekend so not good <laughs> uh, don't, don't look at that having said that I need 500 frags for a rank 3 doom I've opened 8 crystals and no mystics yet that's how it is man that's how it is remember I think it was Taters posted something. He just like he posted a thing, like a video, just saying like, "Hey, like I'm gonna open this crystal, and it's gonna be a uh, science because it's the least amount of fragments I have. What I really want is mutant, so I can take up this other thing." Yada yada yada. And then he opened it, and boom, it was science because it was it was the least full thing that he had. Uh, it, it just seems like that's part of the crystal opening algorithm for T5 CCs, which is. Uh, annoying. The current compensation will sit unclaimed for 30 days, so I should be able to spend a little more each week to accommodate it. Yeah. Good. Good planning on your part. Sometimes I click those things, like, I claim them too fast and don't even think about it. Like, Ooh, free stuff! What kind of T5CC comes from the actual side quest, not the objectives? Oh, I just assumed that there would be crystals in this, right? Because it's, oh, is it just wah wah derp? 
Yeah, I kind of thought that it would be, but it's just T... T2 Alpha and T5 Basic. That's crappy. And I'll just keep on with the shard there. Taters was stuck for like three months. I remember, yeah, man, he, every opening, he was like... <laughs> I remember watching that and just being feeling bad for him. It's like you want like like what's the fun if you can't rank up the champs that you you want to rank up and you have you know T five basic expiring because you just can't get the right thing. To, it's it's annoying. <coughs> I had to turn on my air conditioning. It's a little hot in North Hollywood these days. Let me know if that's too loud. Uh, nine win streak. Let's do Omega. Do him and let's say time. <coughs> Doesn't matter which side quest you do. The T five CC is the objectives for completing either legendary. Yeah, yeah. I know there were um. I knew there were crystals in there as I've been getting them, but I thought for some reason there might be some in that one. But nope, I was wrong. Oh, okay. I thought T5CC might be in there. Just been doing the shards. I just been doing the shards too, so I actually don't know. <laughs> but that, I, I mean, I assume that that that's what it is. It's just the T5B and the T2A. I've been doing the rank up resources because that's what I lose from doing map four. Okay, yeah, yeah. Doing map five, we actually get pretty decent. I mean, we get map six crystals, but yeah, we don't get the extra. Yeah, we don't get the extra T5 basic, or T5 CC. <coughs> Excuse me. I get 12k 5 star stars and 2k 6 stars each week from Arena. Nice. You, you're a serious grinder on that. What, uh, what's your, what are your minimums, Scarco? What do you hit every time? Keep going up. Do you adjust it? Uh, if the champ is like crazy new and rare, or like like or desired, I should say. Like, did the um, did the cutoff go up on the Hercules arena? Eleven million in basic, twenty-seven million in featured, and Sunday arena. Oh, the Sunday arena. Now shards and brackets isn't really affected by which champ is in. Okay. Twenty-seven mil. So do you start when the arena start, like right away? Get your six stars in immediately, and then run them every every time they or do you run your full roster or is it um, okay well I'm dead it is still going up each week though yeah 27 mil I remember it was 12 mil 15 mil 18 mil 20 mil and then I sort of stopped so 27 mil four in the feature okay so you're doing 38, just rounded up to 40 mil in arena every week. God bless you, Scarco. Can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, man. 
I wish I could. That is dedication, sir. My hat's off to you. I would love to put those kind of numbers up. Filthy casual now. Leaf from the heat. How many rounds is that for you? Do you do them concurrently or do you do one and then the other? You can tell I'm a. I used to grind early arena a lot back in the day, but the six star one, I'm like, eh. Plus, I started getting, uh, speaking of boomer, uh, arthritis in my right hand. Uh, it was also from, like, bartending, waiting tables and shit. Like, but, yeah. Like, when I would pick up, like, a martini, I would just start going, Whoa. Like, I'll wake up and my shoulder's all sore if I do a long arena grind. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm fucking old now. <laughs> Goddamn MCOC players got arthritis. What's up, kids? <laughs> Derek H. D. Hung coming in the chat saying, yo, what's up, D. Hung? How you doing, my friend? Good to see you outside of uh, line chat and uh, map five. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, long break I had to take there. Just had to take care of it. Had to take care of the health. Dude. My brother started having something at the same time. He he texted my family in, the, in our family chat. He was like, yo, like a week ago, I think I had a stroke. And we were like, what? A week ago, you think you had a stroke? Because like he got COVID last year and he was like, he, like he's been feeling some of the after effects. Like most of the time he's fine, but like every once in a while something weird. Now he's not sh like we we're like go to the doctor, like go to the doctor get checked out, make sure there's like nothing they can do for him. Um, like a week later they just like gave him some ibuprofen and told him if it happens again come in right away. And now he's thinking maybe it was just like a major panic attack or something because he's had panic attacks before. He has anxiety stuff. But now I don't know what like it just freaked me out because like. Like, uh, a few days later, I was, uh, like, texting him to do something, and he didn't text me back for, like, hours. Hours and hours and hours. And so, like, you know, I'm big brother. Like, I went to a Dodgers game. Because I invited him to a Dodgers game. We had an extra ticket, and we were all in the fully vaccinated section. And he didn't text me back for, like, forever. And so, like, I'm sitting in the seats, and I'm trying to enjoy, enjoy the game, but I keep checking my phone. Um... And then finally I just called him. I was like, I was like, I had just had to make sure and he picked up. I was like, okay. Like, you can't text your family that you had a stroke, maybe, and then go radio silent <laughs> when uh, they're trying to get in touch with you. It's just you just can't do that to people. Oh, everybody's connecting in the chat. Look at all of us. Our Lokians. Missed your face. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate that, man. Glad to be feeling better. It's crappy, crappy June. Into July, mostly. What's up, Glory? Miss your face, samesies. Holy shit, fall staff. You guys have had it insane. I know. It's been weird. It's, I told you guys I had a month. Uh, it's been... <laughs> it's been one thing after another. Luckily, he's doing okay now. Uh, like, you know, when I chat with him, he seems fine. But, like, when he when he came over the first time he told me after that, like, he seemed different. Like, like you know, and sometimes when people have, like, a stroke or something like that, they, like, things can change if they don't, you know, if they survive. Like, mentally for them. Um, like, he, like, he's a super funny uh, person and uh, super quick-witted, but he was just, like, he just seemed like, 
super fucking anxious when I when he came over and like also his Facebook account got hacked at the same time and like he couldn't log in and he had to like it was under some other girl's phone number out of the blue and I don't know he was super stressed and just didn't feel like the same person to me um, I've seen him since uh, or talked to him since actually I haven't seen him since uh, no, we, I saw him, we went and saw Fast and the Furious, uh, which was ridiculous. Uh, so I have seen him since, and he's, he's doing better now. Um, uh, it, seemed like it, it seemed like himself again. I think he was just having some major anxiety issues. I've never been in any Loki. Well, if you want to retire, come on over to our Loki. You can do some Map 5. Map 4. We, we have Map 4 if, you, if, you're, if you're seriously, you know, if you want to be doing that. But yeah, actually, we we uh, we need some more members, bro. <laughs> we have a hard time filling AQ sometimes. So uh, I'll, I'll officially extend you the invitation into our Loki, Scarco. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna if you wanna jump into the uh, the Loki chats? It is pretty, like, on days where we don't have, uh, you know, AQ, uh, people, I mean, people are legit retired. <laughs> they don't really check in. Seriously? Seriously, yeah, Scarco, you want to come in? You want to be in our Loki? Come right in, man. We I think we only have, like, 23 members right now. You want to hang with us, 25? Oh, we got some new people, so 25. Yeah, man. We got we got space. You're more than welcome. You can leave. I mean, you said you're doing map four, so obviously you, you guys aren't really doing... Um, you're not really, like, going for it either, so... You might not feel bad... If you don't feel bad about leaving... Send me a. I don't. Do I have my friend? I don't know if I have my friend request stuff open, but send me a message or send me a friend request or something. <laughs> uh, we don't do war at all. <coughs> we gave up on war a while back. It's just a lot of work for people who are retired. Um. And that's usually the reason people leave. They want to get back into it. The war situation now. I'm not sure, Glory. I don't. I, I mean, I know we've been talking about, like, we occasionally talk about doing it again. But um, as far as I know, we're not doing it. If we go back and do it, I'll, I'll jump back in and do it again. I just know it was tough for people to organize, uh, given how everybody sort of wanted to stay retired. But uh, I mean, I'll do it. I, I don't mind getting my ten wars in and doing more if I. Uh, I don't have to as long you know there's no pressure like obviously be careful don't die uh it, like by being stupid but like whatever even if you do i honestly like for me i don't care what's war yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> my current alliance runs two bgs <coughs> yesterday <coughs> I went into BG2 and completed the map on my own. No one else joined. Uh, so yeah, you're you know you might as well, you might you might as well not even be doing it. Um, but I think you know once once we didn't have even enough for well we did we would do one BG um, and it was it was tough to fill it so we just kind of stopped. But I mean people might be interested. Is there is it is there a season going on right now? No, they just ended it. They just ended it because of the bugs, right? So maybe we'll do another one. I'm I actually don't know. We haven't really talked about it. You won? <laughs> well, good job, Scarco. You got those rewards. The only thing I miss about war is the loyalty, which you get a nice chunk of either way. I do want to buy me one of them six star. Thingy Unstoppable Colossuses at some point. 
just for the fun. And I mean, now that they have all those boosts available all the time, We've been stomping people in four doge, as to be expected. I need the loyalty. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. Oh, Glory, I don't think I even realized you. <laughs> I don't think I realized you left. <laughs> Snap. Yeah, yeah. I want that six star. You see. Yeah, exactly. Taters is back in four Loki, though, right? Or is he still in four doge? No, I think he's, I think his last video I saw, he's in four Loki again. The collector in me. Yeah, exactly. And I'm gonna get me one of these. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm gonna get me one of these. This, this fine lady right here. A hundred away. Probably get her first, then swing back around and get this one. And then maybe someday we'll pick up the four star too, but we'll see. Taters went back. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. <coughs> okay, last, and then I'll stop hijacking the chat. Can Miss Jane come with me? Yeah, sure, why not? We got, we got open space. I mean, I'm not in charge of the Alliance, but, uh, like, you guys are legit. We're not concerned about you, uh, not contributing to anything or, or, or cheating or whatever. So, yeah. Both of y'all, come on in. give you big hugs from the Loki fam. You know, we're not <laughs> we're not competing for any kind of prestige stuff or anything. I don't know what you guys are at. Or, so, it's like none of that stuff is a big deal. Ugh! Crap. It's for the evades, Spidey. focus on this guy real quick. There we go. I left our Loki to do map 7, then my dad took a bad turn health-wise two weeks in. Ugh. Sorry about that. Gloria, I know how it is, man. I know how it is. We're getting to that age, bro. We're getting to that age. Oh, not contributing is not a thing. I have some 600k points in X-Men use and I didn't even know it was on. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, with the arena that you're grinding, man, you're gonna help us out huge. <laughs> Decided to chill by myself for a little while, then juggling four doge. Didn't want to be a drain on our Loki. Man, you wouldn't be a drain, Glory, you know that. You understand, you know how we work. Derek's in there all the time, man. He's taking care of AQ for us. <laughs> Killing the boss, doing what he's gotta do. You know you're gonna come back anytime. Not a drain at all. Not a drain at all. Thanks, man. It's okay for now. Okay. Good to hear. Yeah, that's just. Ooh, it's scary stuff too. You know, like, <laughs> you know stuff with my, with my, you know, my mom just talking to her. She's like, she's only like two years older than me. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, but... I don't even want to think about that stuff. Like, my mom's like... You know, she's, she's my mom. She's the most important person in the world. She's like... You know, my dad left early. Uh, and he passed... Uh, about ten years ago, or... A little less than that. But... And that was rough to deal with because I, you know, a lot of unresolved issues there. But, ha like, thinking about my mom's to, ugh, don't even want to put it in my brain. Map 5, APOC is my bitch. Confirmed. Yes, sir, he is. You get, I'm like, I know when I go in there and I derp it up, I'm just like, Derek's got this. <laughs> I've been getting down the the bosses occasionally the uh, the section 1 section 2 bosses on, upon occasion because I'm often up at weird times so I end up hitting those but but whenever we need an APOC taken care of Derek's got it Derek's our, our, our map 5 man <laughs> I, I wonder how I'd be a map 7 now. Probably just super whiny. Like, I know once you get used to the fights, uh, it's all good, it's all gravy, like occasional mistake aside. But I'd feel nervous. I'd feel like, ah, oh, okay. More notifications. Sorry, sorry, professional streamer. Um, I know... <laughs> the first time I would just be like so I would be nervous when I would go in there <laughs> I'd be like oh man what if I because like you don't want to like go like yeah my, here's my account I'm over am I over uh, I'm, I'm two million <laughs> like playing the game since launch used to be uh, you know masters alive blah 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 and you just go and biff it and Map 7, it's like, it's just embarrassing. Uh, so I don't even know if I want to go in there. <laughs> you just reminded me to go take uh, Magic Mini. Thanks, yeah. This guy's always watching. Straight boss that killed that, yeah. <laughs> and yes, you have friend requests on. Okay, I'll turn them back on here in just a second. get you in there. Oh, blam. Oh, oh, goody. Yeah, she's dead. Good pick. I was super nervous my first round. It really isn't that bad as long as you plan your paths. Yeah, you have the right champs, you get the planned paths, and just <laughs> you know you can't you can't shake the nerves though you're like do I still got it do I still got it let's see let us uh, friend requests enabled there you go Go for it. Let's see. And no, I don't know what I'm looking for here. I'm just killing time. Until I get that invite or the friend request. Map five alliance question. Map five alliance question. What is the what is the difference here? Here we go. Social. Scarco. There you go. Oh no! Not reject. Uh, no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, there's nothing worse than panicking a fight in team mode. Yeah, man. That's why, I mean, that's why war <laughs> made me leave, like, m like, master level alliance stuff, because I just, like, may I, you know, palm sweaty, mom spaghetti. That's just, that just happens to me. There we go. Hi. Okay. What is this? Finished streaming, but I am super interested in moving. Okay. You got it. Mmm, spaghetti. <laughs> I have not had pasta this year. I'm down, like I have, I still eat carbs, like I have fruit and uh, I'll have like, like a spinach tortilla and stuff and um, I'll eat the occasional, like the occasional burger or something on a cheat day, um, but I'm down 40 pounds, 40 pounds since January 3rd. It stuck at 30 for a while and then it's finally started going back down again. I think the initial bit of it was like, it was certainly like fat and stuff, but also like a bunch of water weight because I also quit drinking. Um, and now it's kind of like, I got an exercise, well you can't, I put it over there. Uh, an exercise bike from my sister. Uh, I visited her in Arizona and she like, buys stuff at auction and resells it on like Facebook Marketplace and offer up and stuff like that for like a huge profit. She started doing that during, um, the COVID lockdown and then just like decided that's what she's going to do now because she made so much money. <coughs> so she gave me a free exercise bike. Uh, started using that, getting a little more cardio in. Nice. Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been, it's, I feel a lot better. A lot of it was cause like, I was just feeling crappy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shrimp and polenta was the whitest, most Californian thing you could possibly have said this one. I laughed for so long. <laughs> oh, I, I knew what I was doing there. <laughs> Somebody said shrimp and grips, and I was like, oh, shrimp and polenta. <laughs> it is, um, but it is genuinely really good. And polenta is the exact same thing as grits. It's just cooked slightly differently. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it definitely was the whitest, most Californian thing I could say. It was not unintentional. <clears throat> Do we not have an officer in here? Uh, I can't help with that any longer. Uh, yeah, no. Um, I think anybody can. Actually, I don't know. Can anybody invite? Um, I don't know. I'll talk to the guys in the line chat when I'm done streaming, and we'll go we'll get it sorted out. Talk to Shorty. Uh, I'm sure he'll be cool with it. Okay, don't don't. Don't want to like officer. Oh, I guess that would be. Yeah, there we go, Derek. Yeah, <laughs> Derek is the officer. <laughs> yes, sir. Funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, somebody earlier in Lefty stream and he was talking about somebody brought up shrimp and grits. Um, definitely, you know, southern uh, black southern delicacy. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yeah, shrimp and polenta. <laughs> Oh, we had this amazing short rib and polenta at my old restaurant. It was just like to die for. To die for. So you get a fucking white California things to say. Oh my God, the shrimp and polenta. Oh. Then we got some Some, some shishito peppers and buffalo cauliflower. Mm. And then we had this gluten-free bread um, for the appetizer. It had um, a, a cashew aioli on top. It was delicious. Yes, that voice. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that is the voice. 
That's what made it funny. I could hear the voice he put on to say it too. Yeah. <laughs> Scarco, you can add me in game two, and I can pass your info to the leader. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get this sorted out. Let's get Scarco and Miss Jane and the Loki fam. Sorry for poaching your people, that alliance. But snatch! Snatch them up. I had the best tuna ni soi salad the other day. With a Moscato, indeed, yes. <laughs> it was a very nice pairing. It had a um, shallot vinaigrette. Very light. I got it on the side. With some Haricot, haricot Verts. Green beans. And some uh, fingerling potatoes. Mmm. Oh. Now I'm getting fucking hungry, actually. <laughs> Well, it's day one of AQ, so no rush. Oh, true. True, 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 true. Don't want to jump out then. Although we did get all that compensation, so. You let me know. You let us, you let, you let us know how you want it to go. God, what was the... I'm trying to remember one of the more frou frou things we had on the menu now. It's been a <laughs> couple of years since I waited tables now. Which is uh, amazing. I'm never going back. Ever. I started taking a programming class, uh, like a boot camp online, because won't catch me in servants, no food no more. F that. By the power of Falstaff! What's up, PP? Welcome back, my friend. Ooh, look at that emoji. Sword in the cloud. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Today, the Masters of the Universe is on now on Netflix, right? It's, it just, it just came out today? Oh, I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. I've been looking forward to that. Thank you for the reminder, PP. I have, oh wait, by the power of Grayskull, right? Yeah, yeah. I have the power. <coughs> Woo. Gotta get used to talking for two hours in a row at a time then. The old, I gotta, gotta, gotta get the throat used to, to streaming again. That might be purely coincidental. Oh, really? <laughs> you didn't. Uh, you didn't do that on purpose. All right. Well. Well. Uh, actually, uh, viewers, Masters of the Universe premiered today. I think uh, on Netflix. Go watch it if you are into if you're into cartoons. If you're if you just part of my generation, just can't let go of your childhood. Man, I had so many He-Men when I was growing up. He-Men, and then it transitioned to Ninja Turtles. I would get, like, I would get all my birthday money together, go down to, like, Toys R Us or, or whatever, and just, like, buy as many Ninja Turtles as I possibly could. Like, the He-Man stuff was before I started getting birthday money that I could spend on my own, so, like, it was, like, my parents were giving it to me. And then, like, it, then it was Ninja Turtles from then on. And I had every Ninja Turtle there was until they started coming out with all the sports figures. And I decided I was going to give it up. And I ended up trading my Ninja Turtles and my G.I. Like, my G.I. Joes for, uh, like, a whole bunch of comic books. That's how I got into comic books. My, this kid in my apartment complex came over. We were playing G.I. Joes and Ninja Turtles and He-Man and um, 
and he ended up stealing a bunch of my toys. Like when I was putting everything away, I was like, "Oh, I'm missing a bunch of stuff." And like, he had brought like uh, some comics over, and 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 then like I, I had read them, and they were still there. I think I was like borrowing them, but he like stole like stole some of my toys. So like went over there with my mom and stuff, and like had to confront him about it. And then we just made a deal. Like, how about you give me? Because he didn't want the comics. And I did, and I didn't care about the toys anymore. I was getting to the age where I just didn't care about them anymore. Uh, and so I gave, like, gave him the G.I. Joes, because that's what he wanted. And he gave me this bunch of comics, which had... Ended up being, actually, pretty some pretty valuable stuff, like X-Men 268, which was, like, the um, first appearance, of, like, the first Jim Lee. And then a bunch of other stuff. It got me, it got me right into comics had uh, the X-Men Inferno series with the like the one of, like the last hurrahs of Chris Claremont it's a good it was a good haul the apocalypse uh, series where he kidnaps Archangel and makes him Archangel in X-Factor so I, I, I made out like a bandit in my opinion why was there never a He-Man and Thundercats crossover? Made perfect sense. I think there was, wasn't there? Or was that like a Thundercats Silverhawks crossover? I thought there was a He-Man. Maybe not. Maybe not. They were all just cartoons to sell toys anyway. I had it all and I have no idea where it is. My original He-Man stuff would be worth so much now. I know, right? I, gave, I ended up giving a lot of it to my, like... What I didn't trade, like the turtle stuff I kept and I ended up giving that to my bro my little brother who was like seven years younger than me. So he was super into it. That son of a bitch. I know. I know. Who goes in your friend's house and steals their toys? S jerk. You don't do that to a friend. I guess we weren't friends. We didn't hang out after that. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Whoa, Silverhawks taking me back. I know, right? I had that, remember that guy who had the guitar? Like, shot lasers out of the end of it? I don't think I've thought about Silverhawks until, like, in 20 years until this very moment. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to do a Silverhawks court cartoon. This is a little later, but remember um, the Cowboys of Moo Mesa? It was a Saturday morning cartoon on ABC, I believe. After these messages, we ride back. You're welcome for that one. You are welcome for that one. It was like the magic school bus. The cowboys of Moo Mesa. Me and my friends and I, we, we were doing a... We did some trivia stuff over Zoom over COVID, and uh, uh, one of them was like, name, uh, it was like, there were like five characters from Cowboy of Moo Mesa, and like, name name one that wasn't from Cowboy <laughs> and my friend came up with Billy the Cud, and Billy the Cud was like the funniest thing I'd, I'd heard in <laughs> a long time. <laughs> so all the names were ridiculous. But Billy the Cud made me, like, squirt liquid out of my nose when he came up with it for the first time. Not sure I ever saw Silverhawks. I was a G-Force and Voltron kid. Oh, yeah, I remember Voltron. I had the, oh, my God, I had the all-metal version of the, of the, the, the cat Voltron. When I was a kid, I don't. I have no idea what happened to it over the years. It would be worth so much now. It was so cool when I got it. Like, I took it outside, and my friends were like, "Oh my god!" Um, mask, mask was pretty cool. The like the the tramp, like the car, the had the motorcycle that flew and the car that flew. I remember the mask. Fall stuff. How long are you be streaming? Uh, probably another forty minutes or so, maybe. 
I was planning on going till uh, 7 Pacific time. Yeah, the mask was super cool. So it was like dudes in a car. Like, it wasn't just a transfer like him. Dino Riders! Oh my god, I remember I, I, the Dino Riders were sweet. I had one, I think? I think I, I never like, got those toys. Um... Uh, but I remember, like, I remember them. I think I had one Dino Rider. I had the sweet-ass G.I. Joe thing, though. It was like a... It was a tri-fold base. It was like this base that was, like, basically a giant... Like, it kind of reminded me of the Sandcrawler from Star Wars. But then it would stop, and then it would open up, and, like, there would be three levels to it. and had all these missile launchers and turrets and stuff on it. And, uh, yeah, what else? It, it had, like, a little thing. Like, Sergeant Slaughter came with it. Like, it was a Sergeant Slaughter, and he came with this little this little tank that lived inside the big tank. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about. I don't know if I can show this. I don't think I can. <clears throat> God. I, have to, I, I can't. what it was called, but it was a sweet, sweet toy. Cool, gonna walk the dog, be right back. Alright, cool. See you when you get back, Derek. I had the cat Voltron and the car Voltron. The car Voltron seemed like, uh, like a lot of commitment. I had that base with the Street Fighter G.I. Joe remake of it. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, I had, um, my... There was like these Robin Hood Prince of Thieves toys uh, that they made that I, that I got because I was obsessed with that movie. And uh, they had a little base that was just a remake of, just the completely recast of the uh, Ewok Village. Star Wars. <laughs> they made a Robin Hood Prince of Thieves toy playset. Uh, if anybody remembers that. <laughs> I didn't know they did a remake of that base, PP. I have to look that up. Yeah, the car Voltron, Scarco, that seems like a lot of, that was commitment. Because there were like a lot of cars. Like there were five lions, you know. But there were like, <laughs> I don't even know how many cars in the car Voltron. We did not have like a crazy amount of money growing up. <laughs> Especially after my parents separated. I still have the Batman the Animated Series Batcave packed up somewhere. Sweet. Yeah, that premiered right when I was sort of getting out of the toy phase. So I never... I think I had like a Batman... I think my brother had the Batmobile. So I got to, you know, I got to play with it. Uh, even though I was too cool for toys at that time, but I still wanted to play with them. I, I got into the phase where I, I had all the Star Wars toys when they did the Power of the Force collection. Like, I started buying those, and uh, and I just stored them for 20 years or something like that. <laughs> 15 years. I ended up... Um, I had them all, and then I had to put them in a storage space. I lost my job during... And, okay, so speaking of, uh, uh, you know, older millennial again, um, slash boomer slash Gen X, I lost my job in the 2008 crash, uh, market crash, and like, so I, I lost my apartment, I had to give up my freaking dog, uh, like, you know, found it at home and everything, but, um, but I had to put my stuff in storage. Like a bunch of stuff that I like, like my comic books, my like Star Wars collectibles, and then like I was like moving around. I had to go back to Arizona for a little while, live with my mom, and I was like, it sucked. And then my unemployment, like something happened with it, it stopped showing up. You know, I'm searching for jobs everywhere, nothing's happening. Like it was like I don't know if you guys lived through the crash too. It was fucking shitty, but um. 
I'm sure you did, since you're talking to me here. But um, uh, I, I couldn't afford my storage space all of a sudden, and then so they auctioned all my shit off. It was basically like a, a fucking house fire. Just everything that I had, just gone, it's gone in a heartbeat. So it was, it was a lot of shit I was carrying around for a long time. It was, it was sort of liberating. I would have rather had it or sold it at some point, but whatever. That was, <laughs> what was that, fucking 11, 12 years ago now? I'm over it now. I'm not afraid anymore. Oof. But you were singing the Men in Tight song with them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tight tights. Go around the forest looking for fights. <laughs> Achoo. Thank you. Achoo? Achoo. That's what it Yes. I was like, a chew. <laughs> that was Dave Chappelle's first uh, movie role, right? Okay. All right, Mr. Keeps their limber on five out of five. Jerk. Nobody likes you. Teaching sucks sometimes, but I've never been worried about losing my job because of the marketing thing. I'm thankful for all the time for the security. I think for all the time for the security. Yeah. <laughs> Is the uh, pay scale for teachers better over there in Australia? Hopefully. Son of and sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> uh, couldn't get away with that now. Probably shouldn't have got away with it then. <laughs> that movie's funny though. I did. Um, we had this thing in my high school called Lunchbox Theater, and I did the scene. Uh, with a friend of mine, the one where Richard Lewis is the king. I can't even remember all. Of it. All I remember is the one line where he's like, "I had a good BM." Um, uh, I, this, the scene where they tell him about Robin Hood. Uh, and he's like, "I had a good morning. I was this. I was that. Then I had a good BM." Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen that movie probably since high school. Uh, oh my god. I can't remember anything else about it, yeah, except for I think he had the mole that moved around. Is that, am I thinking of that or the right thing? Yeah. Limber people are such jerks. I use Perry Heavy, dudes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a comparison. Stand by. Okay. Yeah, I guess that would be. You guys have. Like healthcare, though, right? Like nationalized healthcare? Or, I don't know. <laughs> you changed your name to Latrine? <laughs> I'm going to have to watch that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. Unlike the other Robin Hoods, I have an English accent. I just, I remember the song. We're men. We're men in tights, tight tights. We go around the forest looking for fights. That's that's kind of all I remember about it, though. I have okay. Now I want to watch the movie. <laughs> I have to go find where it's streaming. Harry Ellis is really funny in that movie. Ooh. Dave Chappelle, and of course, right after that, Dave Chappelle, he did the all-time classic, Half-Baked. 
gosh, the story Neil Brennan tells about writing Half Baked and how they just like did it in like forty eight hours after like some like they forgot that they had told somebody that they had the script. <laughs> <laughs> they had to write it in like 40 hours. You make 80k USD. Oh my god, yeah. That seems to be higher than what Google... Yes, that is much, much higher. Teachers in the US are making like 30k, 40k. I mean, starting. But yeah, no. <laughs> You 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 have they've pushed teachers into the poverty line in, in the U.S. and uh, you are firmly in the middle class there, sir. Congratulations. Do you guys have nationalized healthcare in there? I actually was watching like a pirated stream of a sporting a recent um, sporting event with bouncing balls, and um, it was it was Australian. Uh, it was like this channel that was showing it was Australian. Um, so I, I saw some healthcare commercials, like some health insurance commercials. So I was curious. I was like, does, does Australia have nationalized healthcare? Or do you guys have to buy your own? Or is it a mix? How does it work? Magnets. How do they work? Yeah, it used to be a shithouse. <laughs> it was a good change. It was a good change. A good change. <laughs> I can quote that whole movie. It says, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm not starting. Yeah, yeah, well, it figures. I figured you probably had built up to that, but at the same time, that like I don't I don't know any teachers, like public school teachers that make fucking eighty K over here. That would be you'd see a lot more teachers in the field. Uh, or at least sticking around. Like, with the education you've got to get to become a teacher, and the loans you have to take out to do it, you'd never pay that shit off, ever. Oh, I'm gonna die with this void, aren't I? Alright, might as well be Mojo then. That's nice. That is very nice, Scarco. And you, you, you know, Miss Jane, you got a two-income household. Is doing well. You got some kids over there and stuff. So people in America are like, yeah, teachers in America, they're just not having them anymore because, um, you know, late-stage capitalism and all that. Uh, we have public health, but if you are over 30 and don't have private cover, you pay extra tax. Gotcha. Starting wage was 30k USD 18 years ago. Yeah, okay. So, raises over time. Very nice. Uh, yes, it, that is, I mean, I think teachers, like, if you, it, it, teachers here would maybe be about, like, 60k. It just, it also depends on, you know, the district and what state you're in and property taxes in the area. For some reason, in America, they decided that public education is funded on property taxes, which is, you know, obviously great for poor schools in poor neighborhoods. Uh, nope, you don't live together. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Just tough. My friend's mom, uh, who's my um, my best friend, he's he's one of the guys that I do theater company with. He's the one that founded it. Uh, his mom is a, a public school teacher in the LAUSD, and she wants to retire super bad. She's just tired of it. She's tired of how the LAUSD runs it, uh, but she just can't. It's just like she, like savings have been decimated by a couple of different market crashes and. All this other stuff, they're like, it's just been bad. She 
she's in her mid 60s, so I know she's at the age. They just made it. They made life super hard here. Thanks, Reagan. And being a woman, she lost a bunch of the yearly pay rises by going to have a baby. Oh, wow. That seems fair. <laughs> um, so that like paid maternity leave isn't uh, isn't like a thing, or you just don't get the raises if you have to take the time away. some days I don't understand why women haven't just killed us all yet. <laughs> just decided like, no, we're done. <laughs> just ended us. Every single one. It may yet still happen. It may yet still happen. Keep your eye, keep one eye open, boys. <laughs> keep one eye open. They are trying some shit here in America. So we've been teaching for the same amount of time, but she is on a much lower uh, level and came back part-time, so lost levels there too. Two years of part-time equals one level of experience pay. Okay, I gotcha. It sounds like a nice, uh, like structure, like, do it, it, do it a year, come back, make more. That makes sense to me. Like, <laughs> I wish it was structured that way here. There's like, if teachers try to make more in LA, they have to fucking strike to do it. And the LAUSD is like, we can maybe do 3% raises <laughs> after you've been in the job for decades. Meanwhile, we got a new tank. Cops bought a tank for some reason. The other day, the cops seized some fireworks in the middle of this poor neighborhood and then blew them up in the neighborhood. And the truck blew up. So it blew up a bunch of people's cars and their houses and hurt people. That would never happen if it was like Beverly Hills or something. They would have taken that truck somewhere else and detonated it safely. They decided to blow it up in the middle of the neighborhood. Look it up. It's insane. It's a... Uh, like. And the cops are like, mm, not our fault. It's like, bro. Bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> how could you do that in the middle of a neighborhood? Unreal. Now, Los Angeles gets crazy with fireworks. It sounds like, like around 4th of July, you go outside and it is Baghdad. Like, desert storm just pow, like all night long so you can literally go into any neighborhood any part of the city they went into this poor neighborhood seized the fireworks there and then blew them up and didn't do it right it's just un unbelievable But a yearly raise, I mean, that just seems like it makes sense. When I was working at the restaurant at the hotel, we got lucky. We had to sue for it, but we got lucky because we got to be a part, 
like they had to pay us as 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 if we were members of the hotel union because we were connected to the hotel and the hotel people came in all the time so we got hotel union wages plus uh our plus our tips so like we were making and we got regular raises as part of uh, the hotel union so by the beginning by the uh, by the, by the beginning of the pandemic when we got furloughed i was making like 17 an hour 17 like 17 11 an hour plus tips and i had 401k <laughs> it's pretty nice i i do not want to go back well f that and the a <clears throat> Job sucks. It's very odd. It is odd, right? Why would you do that? But that blackout song in the in the Heights movie was awesome. I haven't seen it yet. I keep forgetting to watch it. I'm going. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me of that. It's something I keep forgetting to do. I never saw, I mean, I've listened to the, um, some of the Broadway recording, um, a few years back, but I haven't actually watched the movie yet. I need to do it. Dude, <laughs> I know, I'll get there. <laughs> I gotta watch it. I know, it was like on HBO Max, I think. Watch the stupid zombie movie. Might as well watch Into the Heights. Did I say Into the Heights? In, in, in Heights? Into the Heights? In the Heights! Oh, crap. I know, I'm losing my musical theater cred right now. Card revoked! <laughs> Soon enough, though. I gotta watch that. I gotta watch the first episode of Ted Lasso, which just dropped. Uh, the second season, I should say. My kids asked me to take them because I was listening to the soundtrack. A couple of nice little cameos. Cool, cool. Looking forward to it. No spoilers! <laughs> I enjoyed it, and normally not my thing. Cool. Good. Yeah, I just, I think it was one of those things that, like, I, like, planned to watch it, and then just that whole month was just, like, not, not great for me. <laughs> and it just kind of slipped by. Hopefully it's still on HBO Max. I think they just, they keep it on there, right? Like, they don't take it down. Like, I think the Snyder Cut's still on there and all that stuff. They, is, or is it only a month? I'll have to look it up. After the stream. I uh, I waited on Lin-Manuel Miranda. I think I told you guys that. He was in town for some awards thing he was getting, and he was at my hotel. And uh, he sat down at the bar... Or he sat down at, at this table by the tree, and I was on the bar, and it was not busy, and then suddenly I got slammed, so I I gave Lin-Manuel Miranda terrible service. <laughs> so I got slammed. I was the only one on. They let everybody go, and then I got just rammed in my butthole. <laughs> it goes away for a bit, and then comes back. Okay, cool, cool. So... I don't know if it's how much time has passed since that one came out. I'll have to go check. Some major differences to the Broadway show too, which might be interesting if you know the original story. I don't well, honestly. It's it's not one that I had um, had latched onto. I stopped. I sort of started focusing on doing classical theater instead of musical theater 
like 15 years ago and sort of was like stopped being enveloped in that world. I still like pay attention to a few of the um, like you know Hamilton or Book of Mormon, like stuff like that. But I um, like if, unless it was like a huge huge hit, uh, I was kind of out of it. I just got tired of musicals. But I think I've uh, the last few years I um, started getting back into them because they're just so much fun. I've never been a server, but I imagine I would ignore other customers to serve them. I didn't have the option. I would like he was he sat uh, at the farthest table away behind a tree, you know, to, for privacy. He was he was totally cool about it too. He didn't like he understood. But at the same time, I just felt bad. All I wanted to do was talk to him. So maybe it was for the best for him. <laughs> uh, he didn't have some guy just being like, hey, so "I have a theater company too." Uh, I, I do theater. Uh, he's like, yeah, great kid. Kid. I think he's younger than me. <laughs> or, or at least from the same age. Well, it's also not a show you can produce or be in. Exactly, exactly. But, you know, I don't really look at it like, I love Once on this Island. I love Five Guys Named Mo. So, you know. I like to, to keep, I, I used to like keeping in touch with us. Like I, I couldn't play any of the parts that, that it would be fun in. Um, well, that's not true. I could play. I, I could do the king in Hamilton, um, and I could, that's right in my vocal range too. God, that song is so fun. But yeah. I'm going to need to watch. I think when I first heard it in the Heights, I was like, so they just, is it just like West Side Story all over again? Like a, like a, like a contemporary West Side Story? I don't get it. And I just kind of didn't pay attention. And then I heard some of the music a few years ago and I was like, oh. I think I like picked up interest in it again after um, Hamilton, of course. Yeah, I need to get on that. I'm gonna. Have to, I got a bunch of stuff I gotta watch. I gotta watch. I gotta watch He-Man, Masters of the Universe. I gotta watch Ted Lasso. In the Heights. That's, that's my scheduled deal. I directed Once on this Island for my school like five years ago. Then a new teacher came along this year and chastised me for it. I'd never actually thought about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those shows. I mean, when I was growing up, I did West Side Story twice, both times as a shark. This was in youth theater and in school. So, like, you're getting taught by teachers. Like, you don't even think about it when you're a kid. I did freaking... Oh, the worst, it was probably... Uh, well, the King and I, I was the Kralla Homan. I mean, everybody in The King and I, uh, it was, the entire cast was white. Uh, this is growing up in Arizona. Um, all, all an Asian face at a youth theater there called Grease Paint Scottsdale Youth Theater. And then I did, uh, at the same place, I did a show called The Little Princess, where I was Ram Das, or Rammed Ass, as we called him. Uh, so I had brown face and a turban. <laughs> you know, this is, this, this is adults casting us and putting us in, uh, in these costumes. Like, nobody even thought about it. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, one day, if I ever get to be a big, a big streamer, um, I'll be canceled. There'll be a, there'll be a nice cancellation ceremony for, for old Falstaff. The 
and like you do and like you nobody know, know you know nobody t told us about any of that stuff growing up. I grew up in Arizona. There were plenty of Hispanic people around uh, to play sharks. Fortunately, they weren't really auditioning for the uh, the musicals. Um, but yeah, my high school yearbook, my senior year photo, is me with um, black hair because uh, I dyed it dyed it black to be a Puerto Rican. I think it's actually like I think we actually get a, got a retook because I was I <laughs> it had grown out so it was brown here and then black. And then I ended up just re-dyeing it black all the way. So I was like super emo my, my senior year for part of it. It was like the musical was like my junior year and then it went into the summer. And then like seeing your pictures were really early on in the summer for some reason. The shame, the shame. A friend of mine is a, a girl uh, named Lisa Schwartz, and she has a YouTube channel called Lizbug, and she was dating Shane Dawson for a long time, that uh, YouTuber who was like, who got absolutely canceled because he was doing blackface on his YouTube videos, and she almost got canceled because of other stuff too. Like, uh, it, it was great. I'm so glad that it, like YouTube was not around during those days. And that, like, all that stuff isn't online somewhere. It would be horrifying. I worked at a school that put a kid in blackface for fame. I knew that was super wrong, but once on this island is storytellers telling a story. In my head, Caucasians could tell a story. Yeah. And, yeah, no, I get you. And, in, like, in an educational setting, it's a little bit different. Like, if you're doing that kind of story. Um, like... You know, even Lim M. L. Miranda said, like, hey, if some kids in a high school want to put on, you know, Hamilton, I'm not going to get mad about it. It, it. But, like, if you're, like, an adult company, <laughs> some regional theater somewhere, and you're, you're casting your George Washington and your Alexander Hamilton as, you know, white guys, you're going to have an issue. But yeah, for something like Once on this Island, you kind of don't think about it at first, but like, think about it now, that's for sure. I was sitting up in Sonora, California, my, we were doing Macbeth up there, uh, me and my buddy Charlie again, uh, he was Mackers and I was playing Lennox. Uh, we both got hired on the con, I got hired because of him. <laughs> he was like, can you bring my friend along? And it's like, so we got to go stay up in Sonora by Yosemite and do Mackers up there at this regional theater and the other show they were doing at the time because they do they run two shows they have two theaters one the other one was Music Man so we went to see that and I completely forgot that there's like a whole scene where the girls in the town dress up like Indians so they like they're like running out like in full headdress and this is like 2017 like full makeup like going ha, la, la, it's, and like like, when I tell you, like, my whole entire, like, being froze up, and, like, we just looked at each other, and we were like, oh, my God, and I looked around at the audience, and this is, you know, a conservative town up in, you know, in, in Northern California, and they were just, like, bopping along, so, you know, some people don't know, some people don't know. <sighs> but I was uncomfortable, I was uncomfortable. I wouldn't want those press photos out. It's in our curriculum framework to explore theater from other cultures. It makes it difficult to get performance with it. Agreed. We prefer, like, I don't understand how you're supposed to really learn about kabuki if you can't put on the kabuki makeup and do it. Like, I, I think theater is a little bit separate from that. You have to, like, take it, like, in that kind of context. Because you should, you should be learning about that stuff. Like, I did kabuki in high school, and, and we didn't know in high school, and so we wore the makeup, we did the masks. Um, 
I don't think it's appropriation to learn about it. Like, we weren't making money off of it, you know? Uh, and Kabuki is a little bit di like different than... And, and what people call blackface now is not even really black. It was a very specific thing with the, the, the lips and the, and the whole thing. Um, but, you know, in an educational setting, I can see, like, you, you have to be able to teach people about this stuff. I, I don't know. Our singers have to do a monologue from a list. The list has five options. Two of them are people of color. My very white kids are like, can we, um, okay, so three choices. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't, <laughs> like, I was in a production of Othello, whether they had a blackface Othello. And which is like, you know, a tradition going back hundreds of years. But at the same time, you shouldn't do it in, what, it was the year, it was the year 2000. So there were definitely black people around to play Othello. But they cast a white guy, put him in blackface. I mean, literally, you can go watch the Anthony Hopkins version of him doing it in blackface. But yeah, nowadays, it's like, you can't go out there and put, like, the kid can't go up there and do an August Wilson monologue or something. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> so... I mean, if it's, can you, do you have the power to change that curriculum, or is that something they have to set for you? <laughs> All right, what have we got here? Let's uh, opening some crystals. End the stream here in just a sec. Ooh, did, do I have, did I get 50K? Nope. All right, we'll do a couple of the uncollected ones then. I'm curious what those monologues are from, Scarco. <laughs> you know, theaters, it's difficult. I mean, there's just so many theaters that do shows that, you know, they, and they just, they don't cast, uh, like, they just don't cast well. <laughs> or they pick bad shows, or they pick shows that, eh, it's probably not the time to do this anymore, you know? Like, maybe don't do Lend Me a Tenor anymore, you know? <laughs> or at least don't do the blackface part of it. Like, my God. Very interesting times we live in. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is. Hey, what happened to online Caligula? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Scar, have you subscribed to my OnlyFans? Obviously not. I do online Caligula every sun Sunday. <laughs> I had to take time off from online Caligula, too. Plus, the horses were getting expensive. We'll open up one more of these. Open up one more of these, and then we're going to call it a day. Thank you all so much for coming back to the stream. I missed you, everybody. I missed you. So, yeah, I'm looking to stream you know more regularly obviously um probably just a few times a week take care of the old voice um and probably just right around this time slot five to seven because i uh i go to bed early and i wakes up early now so um sort of a lot, a lot of things change in the last couple of months um so uh, I, I don't know exactly what my schedule will be. Uh, I don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, but uh, perhaps Sunday night. I'll definitely be back on Monday. Because uh, I play D&D &D on Sundays. Uh, I'm not sure what time we're going to be done. But uh, definitely back on Monday. 
online Caligula. <laughs> uh, three Penny Opera, Twelfth Night, and Let Us and Lovage are the three white characters. Amelia and Ghost in My Suitcase are the people of color. Gotcha. Yeah, it's tough to do those. Hey. Oh, I didn't even mean that. Stupid brain, an online Kafka. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on, let me see. Yeah, good to see you too again, PP. Thank you for some, uh, stopping in again. Let me go and find this. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll put the link in chat so you can. It's gonna start on August fifth. Previews. Um. And then it's gonna run through um, the month of August. And I'll just share the link for you here. The length, the link. The, uh, oh, I'll share the link on the uh, the length on the OnlyFans. <laughs> um, sign in to chat. Okay. Here we go. Later, Glory. So there you go. You can click on that. You can follow that. That'll take you to the Hollywood Fringe website. Uh, it's. Um, 10 bucks, but I've made every show uh, pay what you can. So, you know, pay what you, pay whatever you want. I don't want any barriers to entry on this one. I just want everybody to, to get to see it. Uh, there's a little um, little teaser trailer we put up on uh, the Porters of Hell's Gate YouTube channel, and so there's a link to it on the, um, the uh, Fringe page as well, with the pictures and stuff. It's a little half hour one man show. Hope y'all can tune in. Bookmarked. Thanks. Stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. The linketh. Yeah. <laughs> Shakespearean length. Uh, <laughs> and on that note, everybody have a great night. Thank y'all. See you again. Peace. Yeah, I'll end it.